Okay, so hello everyone. Today I'm gonna teach you how slope boosts and slope neutrals work. Uh, so basically, it's all the text you need to learn to complete, for example, Terminal Heaven, that is the new Excel domain that came out today. So what you need to understand is that when you face a slope with a cube, you can jump towards the slope because you lose momentum and then you can't jump anymore. So the tip to avoid this is that you jump towards the opposite side of the slope, so towards the right here, but as soon as you jump to the right, you press left and you hold jump. So this is the slope boost. You push yourself through the slope to gain momentum. But as you can see, when you jump, your jump become less and less powerful. So at a moment, you will be stuck and you can jump on the slope again. You may ask, why is it a problem? I just need to do the slow boost and stop and do it again. But there is a catch. If you jump towards the slope, you will lose the momentum required to start a slow boost again. So to avoid this second problem, you just need to never jump towards the slope. You jump towards the opposite side and you wait and you do it again and you wait and you do it again each time. So you can do this indefinitely. So you can clear basically any slope like that. And when your gravity is flipped, it's exactly the same thing. Here you just press the opposite side so it's toward left and the side of the slope is right. So you jump left and you go right as soon as you jumped. Like that. So now you learned how to do slope boost and slope neutrals. Slope boost is when you jump and hold and neutrals is when you do it like that. Without ever jumping towards the slope. Okay, so now we're gonna go through this part to understand it, how it works. So basically you need to do slope neutrals here and you can't ever jump towards the slope because if you do that, you will not be able to neutral again while you're on a slope due to momentum loss. And then we go towards this blue orb and we keep doing the cross, okay? There is one catch. If here you are not in a neutral state anymore, like for example here you jump towards the slope, you will not be able to move towards the side of the slope. So the side of the slope is to the right and the opposite side is to the left. So if you do this, you're not in neutral state and you can't move to the right even if you're in the air and not in the slope. So you can't reach the blue orb. So basically, you need to keep your neutral states to reach the blue orb, like that. And there is a second catch. If you do a jump without holding any direction, like that, it's the same thing as jumping towards the slope. So it will cancel your, moment, your momentum and you can't be able to neutral anymore. So now we are here. Imagine you are doing neutrals, so that, and then you misclick and you do a slope boost, you can't neutral anymore, okay? There is a way to uh, reset your neutral, and it is to go on a slope like this, that is two times sharper than the slopes here. So when you fell here, you can go back here, and you can neutral again. One last thing now, now that I presented you the slope neutral, you may think that the slope boost is useless now because like if you do that you can go further but if you do this you can go indefinitely and you will be wrong the slope boost is still useful and i will show you why because to clear this gap you can see that with neutral it will be very difficult to gain the momentum but if you do a slope boost just time it right so you start with neutral and when you're here, you do that. So it's useful when you are on the end of the slope and then there is a straight surface. So now you learn basically the tech that you need to understand to complete a level like this with slopes. So I hope you liked this little guide and good luck if you ever want to complete this level or any other level with slopes that will come in the future. Thanks for watching.